Hi everyone, uh, today I wanted to show you a new purchase that I uh, recently received and you know the nice thing about Amazon is it comes so fast. I just ordered it yesterday uh, and it is the Acaso Action Camera EK7000. So ordered it yesterday, it was under 100 bucks, I think 77 American and it just it came today so that's the nice thing about amazon is there's like practically no waiting time it's there you want it boom uh you don't have to go out to the store amazon now it had so many awesome reviews on this this product i have a bunch of cameras but i've never gotten uh one of these action cameras and uh, well you know i'm getting a little older now and not as active but you know I figured maybe this little camera here uh, will actually entice me to go out, maybe get more exercise, uh, get on my bike, maybe um, various other things. Man, I wish they had these things when I was uh, growing up. I mean, I used to be on my snowmobile up north. I'd be doing just crazy stuff. My snowmobile, my dirt bike, uh, water skiing, you know, whatever. I was very active when I was younger. and. If I if they only had something like this, I mean the memories I would have been able to, you know, and to look back at that stuff years later and think, wow, look at that awesome time I had. I mean, look when I did this, when I did that. I mean, for under a hundred bucks, and the Amazon ratings were, I mean, just it was out of five stars, it was like four and a half. I mean, uh, let me just read on here what it's got: integrated wireless network. Super wide angle, 170 degrees. It's got a remote control, 2.4 gigahertz remote control with it. It's got a display on the back, 2.2 uh, inch LCD. It's got a, okay, so it uses a micro SDHC card, not included. So it's got a bunch of mounts and accessories. Uh, it's got an input output, micro USB HDMI. It's 4K, okay, this sucker is 4K. You're going to pay a fraction of the cost you would if you bought um, a GoPro. Is it going to be as good? Probably not. But for under 100 bucks, I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here, or so they say. We'll find out. It's got 12 megapixel on the photo. The battery is 1,050 milliampere times two. Two batteries in here, okay? You're on one, pop in the other one, away you go. It's waterproof, up to 98 feet, folks. If you bring that in the water, Whatever's underwater, fish, people's feet, I don't know, maybe a rubber duck in the, in the tub. Wireless connection, yes. There's the camera. The back, it's a little waterproof case. Took a screw off here. Trying to figure out, okay, well, let's just empty this out. We'll worry about getting that off later. So, remote control. You know, so you can attach them to things, all kinds of attachments like that. Mounts, more mounts. Yeah, again, more mounts. Like a, this is like a clip style mount. Cable. No shortage of mounts in here. Just mounts, mounts, mounts galore. Little wee battery. Charger, books, 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 books. Who reads books? Straps, couple straps. I will take it out of its case here. Come to Papa. All right, so there is the EK7000. Where's the bat? I don't know if there's a battery in here already or not. Okay, closer look at it here, just briefly. On the front. You have your power mode button right there. I don't know if you can make that out, black on black. But uh, on the top, we've got our uh, shutter button and a light which indicates whether it's on or not. And on your left hand side, we've got a uh, slot for where the USB, micro USB goes. And uh, what's that now? HDMI out on the left side and the USB. Right there, and on the bottom, we have our battery compartment. And on the right side, arrows to cycle through the menus. 
the bottom one also turns on Wi-Fi and the top one is a playback button okay and on the back there's our little screen on the back so we can see what we're doing and let me activate it here and here we go she's all lit up there we go we can cycle through all the different menu items there Lots and lots of things on there. You can play around with settings and such. So there's the first look. Now I probably didn't mention it, but this camera actually came fully charged, which is kind of nice. I thought I was going to have to get it out of the package, uh, put the battery in the charger, wait three or four hours. Nope. Battery was already in there. There is a spare battery here in the package, uh, but there was one in the camera and fully charged right off the bat. So I'm going to start taking some pictures with this, some video and uh, start comparing it with uh, some of my other uh, bigger cameras and just to see what kind of image I get out of this. I have a uh, high definition video camera as well, uh, which I'm using right now for this. Uh, it's, it's four or five years old. It's a Sony, but um, you know, it's past its prime definitely. Uh, and, and this camera here might be just as good or better. We'll, we'll soon see because it's 4K, right? So uh, the one I'm shooting on right now is an HD. Um, got a bigger lens on it it should be better but uh, I mean this new technology who knows let's give it a try and okay just one more thing I wanted to mention guys uh, I noticed on the front of the camera on the lens there's a little piece of plastic there that you you have to peel off and you know there's a little lip there I can see it so I, it, it did I mean I did know it was there and I was ready to peel it off but then when it came to the waterproof case um, I realized that um, when you mount this stuff, I mean the camera itself, it's it's just square, right? There's there's no mounting piece on there. The mounting piece is you know right there on the case, right? So I figured, oh okay, so I have to put the camera in here after. So when I was looking at this case, I thought, well, gee, that that doesn't seem to be very clear through that hole there. I should I should wipe it down. So there was a little cloth that came with it, and I was wiping it off. But then it got more and more. Uh, marked up almost like scratches all through it and I thought oh great I got a case that's got scratches on it and you know you couldn't tell but there was actually a little piece what I do with it little piece of plastic on the front of this lens you couldn't even there was no lip on it there's no way you could tell except for the fact that you couldn't clean the lens the more you cleaned it like the dirtier it got so there is actually a, a piece of plastic on there that you gotta just get your nail in there and peel it off and uh, maybe that's like no duh but, uh, or, or maybe that helped a few of you out there, whatever. Okay, so what we have here is a split screen, the Acaso EK7000 action camera on the left, and the Sony HD Handycam on the right. It looks like the Sony does look better, as to be expected, has a, a much bigger lens, and it's really made for that purpose, shooting video. Uh, so... Let's look at a video, just the Acaso EK7000 by itself. Okay, so we have a split screen here, both the Acaso EK7000 on the left, 4K resolution on the right, 1080p. And in the raw image that I can see on the computer, it almost looks like the 1080p is better for some reason, but the reality is I do not have a 4K screen. I do not own one. So um, it's really hard for me to compare when I don't have a, a proper screen. But like I said, for some strange reason on this screen that I'm looking at, the 1080p looks better, oddly enough. Okay, so you've seen the footage. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be uh, better than it looked, to be honest with you. But I also have to realize, you know, it's a hundred, it's a hundred bucks. Okay, so you know the fact that uh, it's got 4K on it, uh, Wi-Fi has a, a strap you put on your wrist that you can uh, either take a picture. And there's a strap right there. Take a picture or start the video. This uh, devices. That's for your bike, and you know, I keep, they give you this this device here, okay? So I was trying to figure out how to put it on the front, 
but the lens was in the way and then it was like duh it actually goes on the back like this so there you have your screw there screw hole there so now you can use all these uh, various mounts that they give you and there's plenty of them and I think some have this sticky stuff on the back you can peel off and stick it but extra door hinge I guess they're thinking if you break your door hinge on the back of this thing uh, so overall for a hundred bucks um, I'm not gonna complain it's probably not gonna be as good as your typical $500 GoPro uh, but you know if you want something that's going to be able to capture all that uh, magical action that you're you got going on out there then uh, I don't see why you couldn't uh, use this camera to uh, for a start and then if you find you're uh, really using it a lot and, and at some point you got more money in the future uh, you got four or five hundred bucks you want to blow on something like this um, go ahead so you know for me it's not like I have my snowmobile still on my dirt bike I don't have all that stuff anymore I don't have all those toys um, so you know this is probably just gonna be do me just fine but you know if you are out there and it means a lot to you to have the, you know the best picture you could possibly get yeah well you know GoPro is king of the hill and uh, I've never used one um, I would imagine it's probably got better resolution than this I mean what else are you paying for right I mean four or five times the price it's got to be better I figure it's better but you get what you pay for uh, you get a whole lot for 100 bucks here you can't complain and um, so judge for yourself so at Castle action camera there we go there we go get some light on that EK 7000 and all your different specifications there and if you want to see it better freeze the picture and yeah so not bad not bad um, I'll, I'll probably keep it I guess I don't think you're gonna do any better for 100 bucks so too much zoom you're not gonna do much you're not gonna do any better for 100 bucks so if you want better spend more money as usual okay thanks for watching uh, don't forget subscribe if you can uh, like it if you like it you know if you feel like it